All right, change of plan. I've just found a double setted blaze spawner. Welcome back everyone. My name is Echo. Hope you're having a great day. Today is a brand new episode of the Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Island series and I've been busy. Now it feels so good to be back today not feeling sick. So basically last week and all of 2018 so far I've been incredibly sick. So I took a break over the weekend and while I took a break I was reading your comments and so many of you gave me a great idea on something to build. We will get into that in just a minute. So if you missed my last video go and check it out because we did a lot of exploring to nearby islands. So we basically went all the way around. Now in this, in this general direction we come across a flower forest island, which was pretty cool. And I actually grabbed these two, the rose bushes, because of course, if you bone meal rose bushes, you get infinite dye, which is such a good feature. I'm so happy they introduced that into Minecraft. However, another bonus while exploring is this island at the back of my house actually has animals. We noticed a sheep and a pig, and we need both of them. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, in today's episode, we can bring them over to my island, which means we'll have two pigs and two sheep, which means we can breed them. And talking about breeding, I definitely do need to breed the cows in today's episode. So something I was working on or have been working on is a pretty big project. It's taking a little bit of time and yes, you guessed it, it's going to be a grinder. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because many of you were saying, hey Echo, mobs are spawning a lot on your island. Try building a grinder and seeing if it reduces the amount of mobs that spawn down below. Now, I'm not going to be working on that today. That is going to be a project that I'll do off recording. So hopefully in the next episode, it will be complete. We can test it. Um, basically, the mobs that we're going to have inside of there are going to be skeletons, zombies, creepers, witches. And I don't think we'll have endermen because, of course, it's used with water. And endermen don't like water, so they'll teleport away. So hopefully you like this. We'll go and check it out. Um, but actually, today's episode, guys... We're not spending it in the overworld. We're going back through the nether. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because somebody pointed out in the last episode by saying, Hey, Echo, in the previous episode, you brought us the adventure of exploring nearby islands, which was fun. But so many of you know that I need to go back into the nether. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, always answer the poll above me because that way it gives me suggestions on what you guys do want to see. And I know so many of you have been commenting saying, Hey, Echo, please build a boating dock. I really don't know where I want to build this dock though. I was thinking, right, I have two options. I was thinking either here, because I feel like it would be a good place, because then I can dock my boat and go straight to my, my cave or straight to my house, or I was thinking of just having it at the back of the island. Now, another great suggestion, which is something else I also need to work on, is somebody was saying, hey Echo, instead of you just having to boat over to that island all the time, build a bridge. And I like that idea. So we are definitely going to be building a bridge. now. The only downside that I've noticed so far is I don't think the trees are growing. Now I'm just, uh, I don't think they're growing fast enough. Now they did grow when I was messing around in my own time. I, I took them down and replanted them, but they're not growing fast enough. So having a bridge means that I could constantly go over there and hope that they, they grow. Otherwise guys, when it comes to wood, we're going to be in a little bit of a spot of bother. And I don't want to be in a spot of bother because I like to have things working successfully. But this is how this looks so far. I've placed out a lot of torches. Um, I've got to do this side. I've got to do the sides. And I've also got to do the roof as well. And have I just noticed a bat? Was that a bat? I feel like I've just seen a bat. That's really, really weird. And yes, sheep. You will have a friend, hopefully, very, very soon. So I'm hoping... Do I have, actually? Let's just double check. Do I have any... I don't have a chest. Oh, there's so many chicken eggs. I keep ending up with so many chicken eggs. I, I don't mind the chicken eggs, but they all keep bunching up into this corner. I don't know what it is, but they really do like the corners. Uh, we've got four, four of them. Now, I I'm kind of confused. There's two possible answers that I've kind of figured this out. One, they just like the corner, or two, maybe this area isn't as lit up as this area because there's one, two, three, four torches over there. So I kind of feel like animals, well, they are attracted to light, I believe. I believe that's how it works in Minecraft. So one, two, three, four, and we didn't get any, and we didn't get any at all. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about them. Um, I think we do have a little bit of wheat because I'm going to have to do it anyway. I also need to harvest these as well. There's so much to do. I've got so much maintenance to do on the island. Right, what have we got in here? We've got absolutely nothing. So... Oh, all right. You know what? I've got bones here. 
I am going to turn all these into bone meal. I feel like I'm probably best off using this. Yeah, we'll use this just for this section. Because I don't want to... I don't want to overfeed my cows. I don't want too many cows. And to be honest, guys, it's going to get to a point really, really soon that I'm going to have to start killing them. I know it's sad because... Well, it's not sad. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy because then we can actually eat ourselves some meat. But more importantly, we're going to have leather. But I kind of don't want to kill the cows until I have looting. Because looting equals more leather, equals more bookcases, equals better enchanting. And that's kind of another project I'm kind of working towards as well. Um... So, let's get these planted down. You know what, I'm, I was gonna feed the chickens, but I don't really need to. Don't worry guys, this is just currently a temporary, like, food source for now. Until we work out a better fooding system. I, I really don't mind just using these two for now, but... As you can see, like, it's not the greatest system. And so many of you are like, hey, I could build, build an automatic food farm. I would love to, but I suck at redstone. So let's, uh, let's feed these cows. Here we go. Okay, we got three more left. I totally just wasted that. And uh, they're like savages. Slow down. Okay, that'll do. You know what? I really don't care. We're gonna end up with so many cows inside of here as well, which kind of it kind of worries me because I'm gonna have to get the sheep and the pigs and put them down there as well. So I might need to make the room a little bit bigger, or I'm gonna have to do a separate enclosure for these. All right, guys, it's gonna be nighttime very soon. Let's quickly break all of these. Sleep. Prepare for the nether, go into the nether, and hope that we don't die. Alright, to me that looks way better. I know it's like dominating my whole island with this, but until we have like a steady income of leather, I really don't need to transfer it to paper. Plus, plus guys, once this is all fully grown, I can keep harvesting it. And once we get ourselves a zombie villager, which we really, really do need, then we can um, trade. Especially if it's a cartographer or a librarian. Now, I've seen a zombie over there, wasn't a zombie villager, and I actually need to make sure this place over here is lit up because, as you can see, this is causing a lot of dark patches, and that's a creeper. And he's already ready to say hello, goodbye to you. I'm not going to say hello to you. And I noticed, right, this is... I, I need to kill him. I'm killing him because bones are good, but he might drop a bow. Did he drop a bow? No, he dropped arrows and bones. All right, we'll take them. Basically, the best thing here, guys, is to kill as many skeletons as I can. Don't forget, we've got a power three bow. Anyway, it's nighttime. If it if it was if it was daytime and it was raining, I would probably do a little bit of fishing because last time we did some fishing, we come across a mending thing, mending book, which I'm gonna use for my diamond pick eventually. But let's just, you know what? I'm gonna put my bones inside of here. I don't need them. I'm gonna put my bone meal inside of here. Let's sort out the rest of my chest, guys. Let's sleep and let's prepare for the Nether. Oh wow. Okay. Change of plan. Change of plan. We need this guy. I want to keep this guy. However, I don't really know. You know what? I can't keep him. Guys, it's a sad day. I can't keep him because he'll despawn. He will despawn. As soon as I do a little bit of traveling, he's going to despawn. I'm sad because that could have been the librarian. Oh, I'm really, really sad now. Oh, well. All right. Well, we need to sleep anyway. So let's kill this zombie and let's sleep. So just like last time, I'm going to be leaving my diamond pick here. I don't want to lose my diamond pick. I will leave my map here as well because I don't want to lose that. Going to bring a flint and steel. I've got myself a book. I don't really know why, but I'm going to bring it. Got torches. I've got food. I've only got 12 arrows. Now, when we was in the nether last time, we really didn't have too much of a bad problem with ghasts because it was kind of like enclosed. Now, something I really do need to bring with me though is I need cobblestone. Cobblestone will be my best friend because... It's something that gas balls can't destroy anyway, so we'll get rid of the dirt, which I really don't got much of, which I actually need to start stacking up on again. We need I've really not got any cobblestone. Alright, well, let's... You know what? I think we can use these for now. They are another stone variant, so they should be okay. This, uh, you know what, guys? I need another mining adventure. And I also need to get myself some more food. So there's potatoes. You know what? 36 should be okay. I'm just stalling because I really don't want to go inside of here, but I know it needs to be done. Hold on. The re Let me explain to you why it needs to be done. The reason why it needs to be done is because I always forget on Pocket Edition that you need, of course, blaze powder, sorry, blaze rod to make yourself the brewing stand, but 
You also need blaze powder to power it up now. I always forget, and I've not even got any nether warts. So that's also going to be another challenge. And if I'm honest with you, I really need to make myself some form of a chest room. But let's close this door. I have a habit of not closing doors. It's a real, real bad thing. That's how you end up with creepers inside of your house. Uh, but at the top of the island, I've not really noticed too many mobs. They they spawn here, here and there, but they're not too bad. All right, straight into the nether. I really don't want to do this. So the objective inside of here is... I'm not going to be taking the quartz. Not until I have myself fortune on my pick. But I need blaze rod, another one. Maybe one or two, actually. I need nether warts. And inside of here, we are going to have ourselves some mushrooms. Now, mushrooms are going to be needed. Why? Well, if we want to make ourselves the potion of healing, or if we want to heal ourselves on the villages, that's going to be one of our main things that we're going to need. Now, yeah, we did make a path. Okay, so there we go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is actually perfection. I always, always used to forget that you can get mushrooms inside of here. So we're going to take... Basically, as many of these as we can, because we need, I think it's a fermented spider eye. I, I think it's just, as, I think we need this for a fermented spider eye. I always forget. I'm pretty sure the recipe will come back to me very, very soon. Uh, we don't need red mushrooms. However, you know what, guys? I'm going to take it because we could always grow a mushroom tree. And a mushroom tree will equal mushrooms too, just in case. It's just another, another option for food. To be honest, though, I think the cows is going to be the best option for food. So how many of these have we got so far? We've got 11. If I can get around about 20, I'll be happy. And if I really, really needed to, we could always make ourselves a dark room. And make ourselves a mushroom room. Mushroom room. Room room? Mushroom. Mush. Mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I think of mushrooms, right, it, it brings me back to the Minecraft story mode where they're all fighting over the mushroom to make mushroom stew. It's, uh, yeah, uh, it's weird, I know. I know, but it's just one of them things. All right, so we'll take this last patch. That's going to give us 16, 17, 18. Yeah, I'll sit you on about 20, which is good. Okay. So, oh yeah, I don't know if this is bugged, but on this version of Realms, for some reason, with the skeletons, they just they just don't spawn fast enough. They always despawn. Now, hold on, let's just eat this. I'm going to have to keep my bow close. I don't want to hit any of the, the pigment because they're annoying. So, let's head over to what we know as the nether fortress all right here we go now i also see some magma over there i also see some lava as well i don't think that lava was there last time i came here so i'm pretty i'm kind of lucky really though because i think that must have just spawned in as we loaded in the chunks this is a pretty scary place to be i don't like being here well, I don't mind being here if I have fire resistance, and that's kind of the reason why I'm, I'm coming back, because I want to make some fire resistance potions, and this guy, this little guy, is a cat. No, he gives us nothing. We need some big mamba cubes. All right, well, we're going to go, I'm probably best off going this way then. Um, nope, nope, that's not the right way to go. All right, well, let's just block this off, I guess, to a safe boundary. Don't forget, in the nether, guys, lava travels twice as far and twice as fast. And that's not a good thing to do. So you gotta be you gotta be really careful with this stuff. If I'm honest, I really should tower up there and plug it up, but I'm not going to because I don't fancy being blown apart by some form of a ghast. And we'll plug this here as well. And I'm gonna just do this. I just wanna be really safe. And once this is done, I don't gotta worry at all. So we'll just plug this up. There, now I don't gotta worry. Now it's another part where I can just explore. Now I gotta get myself inside of here. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to do it here. Now, there's gonna be chests inside of here. And actually, we might be able to find ourselves some diamonds. So that's also a bonus. I should also... Wait, wait, wait. Should we also do the same here, right? Yes. Okay. Let's have a quick sneak peek. No chest there. You know what? I don't see any mobs. This is why things can be a little bit worrying in here, because... Sometimes, when I did my last Let's Play, the Wither Skeletons, they didn't spawn, because... I don't know, they just break. And I've just noticed that my... I don't got another sword. So it's okay though. I've got, I've got an axe. The axe is probably going to have to be my best friend. Now there's going to be nether warts down there. But I just want to I just want to stick to one level for now. And see if we can... Yeah, it's a chest. Okay. It's far too quiet inside of here. No blazes. Uh, oh, okay. We'll take this. You know what? I will take the gold as well. Because we can just smelt it down. And I think this is going to take me to the... Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. So this just basically goes to where we, we just made that, that staircase. All right. The more we can tick off with this, the better it's going to be. And I think it's quite a big... It's actually quite a big fortress. So not finding any skeletons is a real 
a real strange thing. All right, any more chests though? Yes, there's another chest. All right, horse armor. Quite a shame because I'm not going to need it. But I'm going to take it anyway, just because it's going to be resources that you never ever know that you might need one time. That one time you might need it. And I got to be really smart here because I could get myself real lost. So I'm trying to stay on one level. Um, all right, so that's a dead end. So we don't need to go there. And there's another chest down there. I'm already lost. Hold on. I'm going to make sure I place down. Okay, I'm going to make sure I place down a couple of the andesites. Because I will get lost. We'll do one here. Um, one here. Just for a specific trail. I will go down there actually in just a second. We'll do one here. And I'll do one there. And also one here as well. Okay, good. Let's go and check this. I'm hoping for diamonds. Diamond swords, diamond pickaxes. Nope, it's gold. It's not quite diamond. Why have I got so much... Why is there so much horse armor in the nether? I feel like that's generally not a thing needed. Oh, another chest. Ah, uh, it's a golden sword and a saddle. This place sucks. It, it sucks for what I need. Where's the blazes? There's got to be a blaze spawner in here. And until until I find it, I'm not going to leave the nether. Because I need it. Uh, we didn't go this way, or did we? I'm pretty sure we might have. We did not go this way. So this will tell me how big this place is. And it's actually quite a big one. But there's no mobs. Which is a little bit worrying. Why does this always happen on this version of Minecraft? It just, it constantly happens, right? We still got to go down. Staircase, which is there. Before we go there, though, we may as well check the one that's near where we came in. Hold on, hold on. Is this a double staircase? It is a double staircase. Is that a triple staircase? Hold on, is it a triple staircase? Not quite. Still no blazes, though. Somebody explain why there's no blazes and why this happens. Well, I'm not complaining right now because as long as you've got this stuff, and you know what, guys, I'm going to bring the soul stone, soul stone, soul stand, because <clears throat> I'm going to need it. Um, I mean, you can find random pieces, but I'm going to bring it with me anyway. And we've got another section over here as well. So this is going to go quite far down. I need to find the blaze spawner. That's, that is literally my biggest task in today's video is to find the blaze spawner. Just so we have abundance of blaze powders. Because I want to heal the zombie villagers. They're, they're a big thing. Here we go. Come on. So we should have... How many have I got now? I think I've got like 30 or 40 of these. Because we did find some. We got 33. Okay, that's, that's fine by me. And this is going to take me into the cave systems. So down here is where you can possibly find the blazes. Alright, okay. It's like a, a really complete kind of fortress. And I know so many of you are also doing the same series as me. So many of you created the same seed. So many of you have been tweeting me your your islands. Which I think is absolutely awesome. So if you guys have done that, feel free to tweet me. It's just at a quick soldier. Right, let's have a quick sniff down here. Maybe we can sniff out some blazes. Um, right. No blaze. No blaze, no nothing. I'm pretty sure we are on... Oops. Survival and survival. And we're on normal difficulty. So they should be spawning. They're just... Not. Anyway, let's just do a little bit of exploring, guys. And see if I can find this blaze spawner. Oh, huge mo- Okay, we need this guy. We need this guy a lot. These are gonna produce what I need. And I'm gonna get attacked. Magma, here we go. We got two so far. Well, I've seen two drop. Uh-oh. I forgot that the little guys can attack you on this. Get him. Okay, he's dead. One more. Uh, one more. Okay, there we go. How many do we end up with then? I think it's just two. Possibly three. Let's eat this. I gotta heal myself. Is that a skeleton? Or is that... I think that's just a... No, it's not a skeleton. Right, I've got two magmas, 43 nether, but still no blaze. Let's do a little bit of searching. All right, change of plan. I've just found a double-setted blaze spawner. It's, it's double, and it's right next to each other, and it's not really over lava. So this, this, ladies and gentlemen, is kind of what we need. So this is actually a really, really good find. But right now, I'm at a point where I've, I've kind of lost myself. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Got him. Okay, I got a bow here. It's probably best if I use this. Oh! Get him! One. Two. There's a guy over here. Did they all drop one? There's, there's two over there. Okay, I'm going to end up killing myself. Let's just hide a little bit. 
So it really wasn't too far from where I was at. So I think I, I'm, I'm really worried, guys, that there's not going to be any wither skeletons. I don't know how I can improve the chances of finding them. Uh, my sword's about to break, but I'm going to continue to use it a little bit more. Let's give it a view. There he is. Come on. There's one dead. And that's two dead. Okay, more of these. I'm just, I'm just harvesting these a little bit. Because the XP is useful anyway. I'm going to keep using this until it breaks. Once this breaks, guys, I'm out of here. Well, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not too worried because we're not finding... We're not finding with the skeletons. Maybe if I increase the difficulty, that could be the reason why they spawn. But this is going to break in, like, two hits. One, two. Okay, now it's broken. Right, I've still got a bow. And if I really, really need to, I've got an axe. I missed him, really? They're really not that deadly. How many have I got? Seven. I want to make a couple of brewing stands if I'm honest though, so I don't mind using my arrows for this. Actually, no, I should probably use my axe. Okay, I can't believe we found a double, double spawner. Come on. Okay, he's, he's going to find me. He's going to find me. All right, let's get him. I've still not fully explored the, the fortress either. I think 10 will be enough. How many have I got? Eight. I think ten would be enough. Because I can always come back in the future with looting. In fact, that's kind of my aim. To come back with looting. Didn't even drop one. Come on, drop one. This guy's going crazy. Oh, he's dead. Wait, how many have I got? Eight. Still eight? Are you kidding me? Drop one. Oh, no. He's angry. He's angry. Did he drop one? He, did. he didn't drop one. Okay, he did. One more. One more to go. Then I'm out of here. We'll kill these two. That's it. That's one of these should drop one. Okay, he dropped one. I knew. Maybe I'll end up with a bonus one. Quick, 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 quick before he starts attacking me. Is that, did I get one then? I got ten. Alright, guys. Let's just make our way back. I've still got a little bit of exploring that I want to do. But, in all honesty, guys... No wither skeletons. No normal skeletons. This is actually a really bad thing. All right, finally made my way out. But again, I'm pretty much extremely worried about this because if we don't find with the skeletons, when it comes to actually trying to fight the wither in the future, that's going to be a hard thing to do. So maybe if you guys know how to get them to spawn or how will they spawn, let me know because we didn't even see any normal skeletons, didn't even find any ghasts, didn't even find any wild normal skeleton, didn't find anything there. No blazes, no nothing. Well, we found blazes, but only because of the XP. Uh, sorry, the spawner itself. So, guys, I'm gonna need your suggestions down below. Anyway, let's make our way home. We now have all the ingredients that I need, that I really, really wanted. I've got, I'm pretty sure I have two magma cubes blocks at home, or magma cream at home, which means we can now make ourselves one, three, six, nine. We can make ourselves 12 potions of fire resistance if we really, really need to. And I'm probably gonna have to definitely come back in here in the future. So, yeah, that's it's a successful episode. I didn't die. That's the biggest bonus not dying And I don't really want to fall off the side there because that wouldn't be good. So let's get home Let's get home safe and Let's see what else we need to do. The Sun is about to set a new day is about to begin Another episode is about to end, but it's a successful one. We've got ourselves the nether warts I've got myself a lot of mushrooms I've got blaze rods and magma cream as well and a couple of goodies from the nether Kind of sad we didn't find ourselves any diamonds at all. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Please, if you know how to fix the wither skeletons and the skeletons issue, leave a comment down below. Take care, stay beautiful, have a great day, and hopefully in the next episode, that'll be complete. Bye!